Welcome to this video on how to program a bubble sort in Java. My name's Andy Wicks and I'm going to talk you through this fairly complicated code. In case you're having problems I do suggest that you see the videos on the use of arrays and how to swap items before hitting this video. This video relies on both those concepts. Let's suppose that we have a list of house numbers we want to put these numbers into order. Now before I do that I'm going to print them out just to show you that there is no magic in the numbers and then I'm going to go on to this procedure. Sortem is the bubble sort and now we get into the complicated bit. We need a temporary storage area so int temp is going to be where we put things when we want to swap two variables around. Now we get into a loop within a loop. The bubble sort relies on being able to swap two numbers so that the biggest one goes to the top. To do that we need to go through the list and let each number check whether the number before it is bigger than the number after. So here we have an if statement. We're checking whether the number before is greater than the number after. If it is, we put the first number into the temporary variable. We then assign the first number the value of the second number and the second number then gets this temporary variable. Now let's suppose that the largest number is first. What this will do is move that largest number up the order until it becomes the last item. Since the last item is now in the correct place we can do the whole process again but now we don't have to go up to that last item anymore. Hence this area here, j is less than i. We don't want to go through the whole array again. We just want to go as far as the unsorted data. And we keep going round this loop until we've done it the array length number of times minus 1. In that way we're bound to end up with the data sorted into the correct order. Now that's fairly complicated and of course you wouldn't take my word for that. So let's now move on to this bit that prints out and show you that it actually does work. I'm going to run this program and what we get now is that the original sequence was 23, 76, 15, 47, 14, 38 and 52 hardly a sorted sequence but the new sequence that is now sorted 14, 15, 23, 38, 47, 52 and 76. The bubble sort works. It is not the most efficient sort it's not the best under every situation but it works and for that reason a lot of programmers use it. 